Oh, it's good to be back a little bit. So last video I was talking about my hamstring that I nearly tore. I've had the physio with Guy and today I am going to attempt to get back into it. So I've rested the whole week. My weight has, <laughs> has skyrocketed. I'm nearly 110 kilos, which I'm really not happy about. For those that don't know me, my weight is my biggest insecurity after previously being 150 kilos it's like i can i swear i can feel every kilo whenever i run it's um yeah i'm very self-conscious about it i'm just going to be upfront about it and that being that and not only trying to recover from this calf oh not the calf muscle the hamstring even though it's fine and i've done the best i can to prevent it i ended up going to the gym last night just to do a bit of strength work just to try and keep what muscle i can and i felt to aggravate a little bit so i'm gonna make sure that i really warm up before i get going on today's run like today's run is only 14 k's but because i haven't run all week and because i've been injured and because my weight is up i feel insecure <laughs> i'm out here at the rail trail today I've got a brand new pair of shoes, so I want to make this video a review about those. And my coach today, Coach Ben, on the Runner app, has told me that what he likes to do is to cover up his watch. Because when he's doing easy runs, he is constantly looking at the pace and heart rate and all that. And rather than going by how his body feels, he's constantly doing that so he likes to cover it he doesn't know what splits he's doing um doesn't know what pace he's doing but the idea is to make it comfortable so let's make today's run comfortable i'm just going to warm up and get into it so here we have it out at the rail trail and i'm with my nike ultra flies i know just something appealed to me when i was watching the running channel and being at home just walking on the tiles they were like holy hell they felt like really amazing but i had to be quiet because courtney's sleeping didn't want to wake her so yes yeah. in three two one let's run <laughs> oh that sounded so weird to me yeah my my zone just ticked in my heart rate strap is bouncing up and down, up on my belly. Stop it! And, first impressions, hamstring feels a little bit, how do you do? Nothing like it was before, it's probably got some scar tissue there. Holy hell, my wrist, my um, <laughs> heart rate monitor, shocking. Oh. Like I said, I'm insecure. Alright, first kilometre completed. As you can see, there's a lot of water out here. So, first kilometre. Uh, had to readjust my heart rate strap. I was uh, creeping down towards a 5.30 pace which is too slow, I mean too fast, sorry, for today. Huh, even now, 200 meters in for this kilometer, 520, so slow down, nice and easy. Uh, I've had a look at the tracking on my feet and I've noticed that they're more uh, going in line with my body and I was telling a guy about it as well like uh, I've noticed my right foot 
it goes forward and then goes off to the side as uh, Chris Gallagher would say it's like you're playing the game of soccer which isn't ideal <sighs> wasn't that long ago I recorded because I talked for so long so yeah two kilometers in uh, hamstrings a little bit of an eagle not much I think it's because I'm going too fast need to warm up it's a cold morning it's about four degrees at the moment anyway last K ticked over at 5.35 I'm gonna slow it down a bit more and just enjoy it bye guys see you at the next kilometre so, third kilometre completed in 5.36. I did just walk a little bit. Uh, my toes and my right foot are uh, getting tingly and numb, which could mean I've gotten a size too small. But I've gotten like 12 and a half and 13s plenty of times. So, maybe it's different fitting with the Nikes. <laughs> Just like that. Three kilometers until I turn around. Which isn't bad. Uh, got this slight incline. Not much of one, but it's enough when you've put on weight and you haven't ran. <laughs> uh, um... I've slowed down a bit, which is good. Hamstring still, it's there, but it's not painful. So as long as I don't go stupid or go fast, it'll be all right. Toes are feeling a bit better. And yeah. So those moments when you feel like maybe you should turn back and uh what are we doing here oh look out of the road going through that bit or path nice that moment where you feel like you should turn back i was saying i think if i just go easy it'll be all right <laughs> yeah kind of went into my own little zone there for a six kilometer uh, hamstring update hasn't changed I think there's uh, scar tissue in there uh, that's what I believe Guy would say much like when I done that severe tear of my uh, calf muscle that's the same feeling I got and that was like weeks and weeks after recovery so I think there's just that little bit to get out of there don't do anything fast it'll probably aggravate it and I noticed my slowing down pace was still 530 540 and it felt pretty manageable so that being said I feel like the uh, half marathon in a few weeks I will be getting under two hours what does that mean when the sun's behind me hey I've turned around and I've had a quick tinkle so future map uh, purchase some step one underwear your knobby uh, underwear does not cut it anymore okay how long goes there this goes through here
So these kilometers are just ticking by. Even with a sore hamstring, a um, yeah, shoe that's blown up. <laughs> Stone's getting in the back of my shoe, which was annoying. Uh, 5.35 pace, so feels all right. It's not bad, it's comfortable. Uh, so, kilometre nine, that felt incredibly easy. Hamstring's going really well. Feet are going really good now that I've fixed the laces up. And my legs are just ticking over. I'm really enjoying these shoes at the moment and this run. But first, let's get some water and get back into it. Huh. 5.53 for the last K. That's with a walk and some uh, water. So I probably ran a bit too fast. Hamstring is not so good. It's all right still, but dial it back a bit. Right now it says I'm doing 540. I feel it more going down the hill here. I know it's not much, but it's enough. Uh, it's kilometer, oh, 11, 11. Uh, finished. <sighs> doing 540 pace. I think my body wants to get it done. I feel like my form is not spot on today. Can be from running with the camera, can be from being up here, can be from the shoes, can be from a lot. So try to get rid of the stress. Just get this done, go from there. I really need to focus on my weight. It's a big stress right now. I think once that's down, I'll start to feel good about myself. My feet are really sore in these shoes. I think that's just from this surface. Yeah, it's compacted. It's a little bit hard. And uh, yeah, just being so heavy for running and first run back after my hamstring. So yeah, it's hard, which probably means I should slow down. This is supposed to be an easy run, but I'm still doing my best. Camera angles are probably up to shit. Anyway, let's focus. <sighs> Kilometre 12 completed. Feet are really sore. I have slowed down a little bit to accommodate. I'm just trying to keep the legs rolling through just to get to the end of this run. Whew. Just made way for a cyclist going by. Now part of me really wants to walk the rest of the way. But it's like my hamstring feels worse when it's um, walking. <laughs> uh, I'd be looking forward to getting these shoes off. Probably half a size too small. But I'll make them work. There's no way I'll get a refund for them. So I'm going to make it work. As, see, they're muddy as hell. <laughs> anyway, I've got 1.5 k's to go, so less than one mile. Let's see everything that's going on out here. All right. I'm at 118. Um, 30 right now. Let's see if I can finish the 14 k's before um, 
One thirty, one hour thirty. Oh, these undies are not good. <laughs> They're chafing my thighs a little bit. Anyway, shut up and run. Go. Thirteen kilometres completed. Uh, got nine minutes to, or eight and a half minutes. You can do it. Cover Winkler in bees. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. To finish this one, to be finished in under one hour thirty, which I think will be nice. That's kind of how long I was hoping to get it finished by. Oh dear. Oh. One hour, 27 minutes and one second. Oh gosh. I feel so heavy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm convinced that's why um, my feet are so sore and legs are so sore. <sighs> Just gonna walk and cool down for a bit and then have a stretch maybe go get myself a protein shake or make one at home oh see you soon oh probably a fair amount to take back from this run coming back from injury put on a heap of weight new shoes mental ability i think the shoes are definitely good i'm going to rule out the fact that they're probably half a size too small, but I'm not going to give up on them. There's no way in hell I can get a refund for them. They're muddy as anything, so I'm just going to have to deal with that. Um, if they perform well, maybe I'll just buy another pair. And yeah, I could sell these off for cheap or something if I really wanted to for someone. The shoes really want you to um, perform well. So, performance-wise, I think they're excellent. Like, the fact that I have put on f four kilos in a week, <laughs> essentially, um, and I'm still able to do, like, a good pace, and I'm recovering from uh, my hamstring, I think they perform really well. So, I think it will need a second review once I've gotten my weight back down again, which hopefully should only take a couple of weeks. If I can get down to... 105 106 again by the end of the month i'll be happy so lose a couple of kilos in a few weeks i really need to focus and it's only going to help me in the long term like i know how well i will run and how much easier it will be and how much less impact it will be on the muscles so i'm gonna go with that i'm really enjoying them you have seen on one of the kilometers like i was like really enjoying it it was just a nice smooth flow and i think as i get back into the running and uh, get this hamstring sorted i've got guy again in another couple of weeks so after him it'll be like one or two weeks i think i see him next monday not this one coming but the one after and then a week and a half from there it'll be the yu yang so don't have much time i'm not going to gain much performance in this time i think it's just about getting the leg sorted um having a shower because i stink in this little confined space <laughs> ah jeez. um yeah, so, that's my takeaway. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I uh, better get going, because I don't want to pass out <laughs> from how bad I smell in here. Anyway, love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.